the exposure range is just too great. A few little accessories can make for some really exciting shots. I've got an overhead giraffe boom with a beauty dish. I've got a really good striking uh, composition here. I've got the images that we captured from the Brooklyn Bridge in New York, and I'm just going to open up Photoshop. Just spotted some great light bouncing off one of the skyscrapers. Great result. Gonna try and put together a series of stitched images. So let's have a look at how we make that stitch together. So I'm gonna open up my lens to uh, probably f1.8 or f2. Beautiful, look at that crash over the top of there. We're at this fantastic little stream and waterfall here. I'm gonna run some shutter speeds in the region of about four, six seconds. We're in the beautiful town of St Ives in the southwest tip of Cornwall. Really pleased with that as a finished shot. I'm actually going to do this as a night shot. I'm really, really looking forward to the result on this one. Okay, so we've got three lights set up here in this amazing old tin mine. We've got the beauty dish on the overhead boom here. I've got an overhead giraffe boom with a beauty dish. Aperture of 1.8 for a shallow depth of field. That's it, great. Here we go, we're just gonna get the sun just right now. We're gonna use just strobes and flash guns to capture a great fashion image. And I'm shooting into the sun, just got the light breaking through the Joshua tree there. So I'm using a polarizing filter here we needed to put some light into the model. Okay, we're just testing out the California Sun Bounce overhead scrim. I'm gonna uh, capture some very long exposures and I'm gonna be using apertures of 2, 2.8. Look at that, that is fantastic. Okay, we've got a crazy one today for you. Okay, the crucial piece of equipment for this is this sucker pump. What I've got here is a Canon 580EX flash gun. So now I'm at f3.5, five seconds. A few little accessories can make for some really exciting shots. We're gonna do this really sexy lingerie shoot today. We're using, um, little spotlights with honeycomb grids, two looser grids on Kirsty and one looser grid on Fran. 